It is a great pleasure for me to be up here in Michigan. You know, I spent way too much time in Washington and getting out of the real world with real people who actually have common sense is a refreshing change. But we need to work at making a personal connection with consumers and the citizens of this country to talk about what we do. You know, my gosh, if we don't take care of our animals and we don't take care of our land, uh, we're not going to be successful as farmers and ranchers. All of us know that, that are involved in the business. The key that we have is an organization which I haven't found an organization yet that truly has to the extent that we do. There are others that claim to have grassroots strength, but we are the only one I know that tr truthfully has that 2,800 county or parish, Jackie, uh, <laughs> network across this country where members, dedicated active members that are involved at the local level have that relationship with their elected member of Congress, the United States Senator, members of their state legislature, and make that connection. How are farmers doing across Michigan? Well, agriculture is one of Michigan's economy's bright spots, so I would say generally overall probably okay. Better than the auto industry? Better, far better than the auto industry, yeah. So I would suggest that if you're not politically involved, you get politically involved. You have to find the candidates that are willing to stand up and talk about solutions. Folks, don't let any candidates coming to you for their support, Democrat or Republican, that do the warm fuzzies and say, well, yeah, we really love farmers and ranchers. I'm sorry, that answer is not quite good enough. The answer needs to be, what are you going to do specifically to deal with these issues that we think are important to agriculture? Get up to commit. Hold their feet to the fire. Y'all come back.